Hello there. If you're watching this video, then it means that you are about to do the tasty experiments, and you need a little bit of instruction. So in this, there's going to be three different experiments with all testing different things. The first one is testing absolute threshold. And as you hopefully recall, absolute threshold is just being able to detect a sense 50% of the time. And so for the first one, there's going to be two different containers, one that says A and one that says B. And as you can see, they're filled with water. What I have done is container A was an entire gallon of water and container B was another entire gallon of water, and one of them had a teaspoon of sugar dissolved in them, which, again, as hopefully you remember from class, is supposed to be the absolute threshold for taste. So all you need to do is have a little taste from A, have a little taste from B, and then on the worksheet, you're gonna say, which one do you think, A or B, contains the sugar? Um, the rest of it, saying what the classmates selected, I will let you know afterwards. And that's it for experiment one, so good luck. With experiment two, it's essentially for perception. And in a sense, I'm messing with you guys. There will be three liquids. Number one is blue, number two is kind of a greenish yellow, and number three is kind of a pink. These are a type of carbonated beverage, and that's all I'm gonna say. What you need to do is try to figure out which carbonated beverage it is. It can be the brand name or it can be the flavor. So what you're gonna do, similar to experiment one, is you're gonna take a taste of each one, and where it says in experiment two, for soda one, you're gonna guess what it is. Then you're gonna try soda two, guess what it is. Try soda three, guess what it is. And I know it says soda on here, but again, it's a carbonated beverage. And then it says, you know, what the soda was. And again, I will tell you after the fact, and we'll see just how good your sense of taste is. For the last one, this one's a little bit trickier. And you will have either in a plate or most likely a plastic container, you will have various wonderful foods of the citrus variety. And this is gonna be testing something known as a miracle berry. And what a miracle berry does is when it coats your tongue, it tricks your tongue into thinking that sour things actually taste sweet. But we wanna test it because we're good scientists. So what you're gonna do is you will see that there is two of everything. There are two lemons, two limes, two clementines, though technically these are mandarins, two pineapples, and two Sour Patch Kids, and a small container of lemonade. You're going to try one of each and about half of the lemonade, and you are going to rate on a scale of one to 10 down here how sour it is before you have the Miracle Berry. Then what's going to happen, and I just realized that I forgot to put it on the desk, so talk amongst yourselves. Da, 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 da. You're gonna have a Miracle Berry. Not sponsored. Sorry, because this is on YouTube. Essentially, a Miracle Berry has a very, very quick shelf life, and it's from Africa. And so instead of actually having the Miracle Berry, it's been fried or freeze dried, put into a pulp, and then turned into a little tablet. All it contains is the Miracle Berry and a little bit of cornstarch to help keep the tablet together. What you're gonna do after you've tasted everything is you're gonna take the Miracle Berry tablet and you're going to dissolve it on your tongue. You don't need to bite it, you don't need to chew it, you're just gonna let it dissolve on your tongue. Because essentially all you're trying to do is coat your tongue um, with the Miracle Berry. Once it is fully coated and once it is fully dissolved, you will then go back and try the second thing of everything. So you're gonna try the lemon, the lime, the mandarin, the pineapple, the Sour Patch Kids, and the rest of the lemonade, and you will again rate after the Miracle Berry on a scale of one to 10 how sour it is. Um, and it should be noted that for the scale of one to 10, 10 is the most sour, and then one is, you know, not sour at all. Um, and then hopefully you'll get to see, you know, what the effects of the Miracle Berry are. Um, it should be stated that if you have any allergy for a fruit, you should not have the Miracle Berry, just in case. 
Um, and also the effects of the Miracle Berry only last at most 20 to 30 minutes. So it's not permanent. It doesn't affect your brain at all. Essentially all it does, and hopefully you remember this from class, our tongue is covered in taste buds. Those taste buds are covered in taste cells. And those different taste cells are what send messages to our brain for different types of taste. So the sweet, sour, umami, all of that. And essentially what the Miracle Berry does is it masks the one for sour and instead sends a signal for sweet. And those are the three experiments that you're gonna do. Um, once you are done, you can come back to me and I can help you fill out the rest of it for what happened in class. But that's not all because you will find at the end, and don't do this ahead of time, and please don't cheat, you will see a pop quiz on the back. What I want you to do is fill it out to the best of your ability. It has nothing to do with completing correctly, just completion. Um, you will also see at the very bottom to provide some feedback for how I'm doing in my class because I can always improve, so please be honest. But if you're gonna be critical, like, if you, if you think I suck, don't just say, you suck, Mr. B. Let me know why I suck so I can do better. Thank you.